Hi, my name is Keith Blair, and I'm one of the managers here at Baker Bookhouse, and I also do the buying for the nonfiction department. And so Chris has asked me to come in today and uh, review a few of the books over the last six months that are really big sellers and might be a great addition to your library. First one I'm going to start out with is Forgiving What You Can't Forget by Lisa Turkhurst. Um, in this book, Lisa shares a lot of personal experiences of hurt and other things that have really impacted her life and it's been a struggle for her to learn how to forgive those situations. And she uses a mixture of her experiences and scripture to be able to learn how we can forgive in these moments even if we can't forget the things that have happened in our lives. The next book that I have is Begin Again by Max Lucado. This book uh, is another one of his that he seems to have coming out every other month and it's a uh, a bunch of excerpts from previous books actually and as we kind of um, begin this new season post-COVID actually it's a lot of things that he's pulling together for our journey as we move ahead as believers and everything there's a lot of encouragement and everything in here too so I'd really recommend this one. The next book that I have is It's Never Too Late by um, Kathy Lee Gifford. Um, and this is one of the second books by Kathy Lee Gifford. You may remember The Rock, the Road, and the Rabbi that she came out with a couple years ago. Um, this book is also a memoir like that one. It's going to share a lot of experiences from her life, time working on TV, um, and other things that she's gone through, and how um, her faith has been challenged through that, and how she's kind of grown through those situations and everything, too. So this is a bit more of a memoir, but has a lot of powerful stories that I'd really recommend for getting into people's hands. All right, the next book that I have here is How to Fight Racism by Jamar Tisby. This book is a super powerful book um, about a topic that's really prevalent in our country and our world today. It's dealing with racism. Um, in this book, um, Jamar Tisby offers a lot of help, helpful hands-on suggestions of how we can work together to end racism, um, both in our churches and in our own personal lives as well. The next book that I have is a book by Dr. David Jeremiah, and he uh, is another author that seems to have a book coming out just about every other month, but they're all filled with a lot of good content. This one is one that, um, as we go through times that have felt like very discouraging, very disheartening, um, it's a book of reminders that we have hope in Christ, and it pulls a lot of scriptures together that remind us of that, that our hope does fall in Christ, not in anything else going on in this world. Um, and it's just another great one from Dr. David Jeremiah. The next book that we have is a book called Pray Tell by Tiffany Bloom. This book is another uh, powerful story about a topic that's happening in the church in our world right now, and it deals with abuse. Um, and it talks about economic and social reasons for why um, there are uh, systems of abuse that are being upheld in churches, in businesses, in a lot of different areas of our culture. Um, and she dives into her own personal stories that go into that as well. So this is a great book to um, get into a lot of people's hands, especially those that are trying to understand that culture a little bit more. All right, the next book that we have is That Sounds Fun by Annie F. Downs. Um, this book is one that we have a lot of needs in our world. We have the need for food and shelter and so many other things. But in this book, Annie talks a lot about we have a need for fun and just trying to discover what is fun in our lives. What are the things that bring us joy and happiness as we're going throughout the day and just challenging us to make fun a priority, just like food and just like shelter are a priority in our lives. The next book I have, I don't actually have it on hand yet because it hasn't quite released at the time of this recording, but I believe the um, marketing team is going to put it in right about here. So this book is called Unity Unity and it's by Francis Chan. And Francis Chan over the past couple of years has had a lot of powerful books like Letters to the Church and Crazy Love. Uh, and this is another one. And this one is one that's arguing that um, one of the things Christ has called for within the church is unity and that... That's something that we're really struggling with right now. And his, uh, his way of trying to discuss this topic is by pointing back to the gospel and the ways that the gospel has pointed us towards unity. And this is one of the few books that I'm reviewing right now that I haven't been able to read all the way through, but what I have read of it is super powerful, just like the other books that I mentioned before by him. So I'm excited that um, this book will be available for you guys now at Librarian's Day. The next book I have for you is a book called How Not to Read the Bible by Dan Kimball. 
this book um, is written out of his years of teaching and having students say, I want to know the right way to read the Bible. And what he came up with is a series of ways that we tend to not read the Bible well. And he's diving into topics that are a lot of times misunderstood because there's scriptures that aren't directly pointing to it. Um, and trying to understand those a little bit more. Like, what does this scripture actually mean? What are we trying to get at? Um, he's saying instead of just reading a verse and taking it for what it is, what is this whole context of this whole story that's going on right now? Um, this is a great book for people that have questions that they stepped into the church, they're starting to got, get to know the Bible, but they want to take another step and they want to try to understand things. They're not quite ready to go on to seminary or anything like that, but they're ready to dig a little bit deeper into the Bible. The next book I have is a book called They Turn the World Upside Down. This is a book by an author that might be a little bit familiar to you. His name is Charles Martin. Uh, he's written a book most recently called The Waterkeeper, and he has several other amazing fiction books. Uh, in this book, he uh, writes from the perspective of the disciples, and it's a story about how they followed Christ around and uh, seeing miracles that were happening and seeing Jesus teach and what that experience would have been like. And so it's really cool to see that perspective from multiple different disciples and their thinking going into it as they go throughout their story. So I'd really recommend this book as a powerful book, especially for those that have liked Charles Martin as a fiction author. I think he brings that same imagery to life in this book as well. The next book I have is a book called Walking Through Fire, and this book um, is by Benitha Risner. And I wanted to double check as I was reading that because it is a little bit trickier of a name to pronounce, but um, Benitha has a really amazing story about how she grew up and she was diagnosed with polio as a kid, had to go through a lot of different surgeries and treatments through that, um, but still persevered through that. Uh, all the way into adult life where again she was hit with a lot of challenges. She had four miscarriages and had several other things that came up in her life but she continued to look towards Christ through all of that. And again for people that are going through struggles in their life right now that are suffering through different things this is a great book of being able to understand somebody else's perspective of how they struggle through this. Um, I think memoirs are one of the more powerful ways that we can hear God working on other people's stories and be able to see that. And this is a great one to introduce to people. All right, and for our last book, it's a book called Never Too Far by Louis Giglio. And that's another name that should hopefully be a little bit um, familiar to you. He's written a couple other books called The Comeback and Goliath Must Fall and multiple Bible studies that have been used throughout the country. He's an excellent teacher. And in this book, he's talking about the fact that um, none of us are never too far from Christ's love. There's people that have grown up in the church and walked away from it. Um, and there are people praying for them and caring for them and just encouraging them to know that they are never too far from God's power and God's love. That there are people that uh, have been never anywhere near the church, but they're still never too far as well. So this is a great book for people that are um, trying to find something for a friend to read that's stepped away from the church or somebody that's never been a part of the church. Just to read, to understand that no matter what they've done in their lives, they're never too far from God's love. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in, um, and I hope to see you guys again in about six months.